Hey guys, it's Nick here with A Home for Hosting and today I'm pretty excited to try out the new Milwaukee M18 Chainsaw. So this guy just came out on the market. Um, I was tired of fiddling with gas, mixing gas, spilling gas all over myself, dumping gas on the ground. Um, so as soon as they announced this guy, I have some other Milwaukee M18 tools. I sold my chainsaw and uh, pre-ordered this from my local shop from NovaPro. And actually as part of the pre-order, they threw in this extra battery. So an M18 9.0 amp hour battery. The saw itself comes with this crazy huge 12.0 amp, ba amp hour battery, excuse me, um, that is just massive. I mean, if you put this on one of their impact drills, it would just dwarf it. Like this is heavy, it's large. Um, I've got it fully charged here and it just fits in like that. Now, the chainsaw, it almost looks like a toy. I mean, it's its a lot of plastic. I guess the gas-powered ones that I've used are as well. It does have a metal um, kick stop here, so that's kind of nice. 16-inch bar on this um, chainsaw. Everything looks, I mean, it's brand new, so obviously it's gonna look good. Um, so what we're gonna do is um, fill it up with chain oil and uh, I've got some wood behind me obviously you can see. So this is not super technical review because I'm not a pro forester or anything, but I do have to cut some wood and uh, we're gonna see how long this 12 amp hour battery lasts, how many cuts of that birch, nice dry birch we can get out of one battery. Um, so we'll get to it and I'll see you on the other side if the bugs don't kill me first. So we've got the bar oil in it now. Um, there's a little tag on the oil reservoir that said to hold it for 30 seconds after you fill it just to get the oil worked around. One thing I wanted to mention though is that um, the oil filler cap is so much nicer than my previous chainsaw which was a steel and other ones I've seen that have kind of these small little finicky things. It's just a big knob with a rubber gasket. Um, really easy to get on and off, really positive feeling. Um, so I really uh, appreciate already that design aspect that they have. Uh, if you're wondering what it sounds like. It takes a couple seconds for it to break. It's not like it turns off instantly. Yeah, so we'll get to it. There you have it. Um, impressive. 220 cuts of birch firewood. Uh, average size, hard to say. I mean, I could measure a bunch and average it, but we've got some big ones here. Like this would be just about 10 this guy, down to, you know, some that are three or four. Um, but quite a few larger ones, all dry. Um, it just kept going. I thought it was a saw torture test, but it was a me torture test because. I was praying for that battery dial to go down a lot quicker than it was. Um, pretty impressive. The, sh the chain didn't really feel like it lost its edge too much, maybe at the end a bit. Definitely no loss of torque right from the first cut to the last uh, before the battery started flashing with the last light. Um, yeah, I mean, if you, you only need to use your saw every once in a while or only maybe once a year for a big burst, this would be great. Uh, 220 cuts. If you went into the forest or to a job with the 9 amp hour charge as well as the 12, you'd be looking at well three quarters of this again. So you'd be up at three, four hundred cuts, uh, no problem. Um, so very impressive. I'm going to knock this pile down now that I made it, uh, so the kids don't get crushed by it. Um, but yeah, overall really happy with this and longevity we'll see. But so far so good. Thank you.